Obviously, you have the plans immediately to play in the Delta Center. Have there been any other things thrown around? You know, we talked about Jerry Jones. Have you thought about building like a Ryan Smith world, like kind of like a Utah jazz hockey team world where you have the restaurants, kind of like the Staples Center, the way the Kings do it? They have a staple. No, for they, sure. Yeah. Okay. Please. Yeah, for for sure. So I think I, I think if you take a step back and you say, okay, we've got sixty thousand juniors playing junior jazz, you know, it, who have come through and played junior jazz, and it's it's unbelievable. What does that mean? I don't think if I you, know what that means. That's just a youth league. So we have a we have yeah we have a youth program, and everyone in Utah plays junior jazz. And as you're a youth, you come in and you sign up for it, and it's helped grow the game. You get a couple tickets to the game, and it becomes part of who you are. I think one of the benefits that Utah can do with the youngest demographic for hockey is if we actually set up a hockey-specific arena, and we're still whiteboarding a lot of this, but if you set up a a hockey-specific arena, one of the limitations on hockey is definitely ice time. Imagine a world where you could actually create the movement with the junior hockey league similar to what we've done um, with the Jets. And so – that would be an idea that we would have, and then that would actually dictate us saying, okay, how would you actually create a full environment of entertainment around that, but actually given hockey its moment. I mean, we've got one of the best basketball arenas in the country in the Delta Center oh. with the slope. Like, Ultimately, it would be really, really cool to, to give hockey this moment that people can rally around. Is that Batman? Care? No, <laughs> that would have been cool. Imagine if he says, "You got a team." You know, yeah, stop yeah, talking. Yeah, uh, just FaceTime him in. Yeah, that would have been amazing. Actually, he he actually uh, when he joined the program, he had his uh, button down, unbutton. That's yeah, his hair sitting on the yeah. side of his all. He looks super cool. We asked him about expansion. He said he doesn't have an exact time and when it's going to happen, but he's always looking into it. Maybe you're able to kick him over there, and it'd be great for the sport of hockey to have another home, yes. especially a home that loves hockey and loves winter sports. Go ahead, AJ. Have you uh, kicked around any possible team names for this uh, team that you may be uh, having come to town soon? No, the internet is full of them. Holy cow. I mean, we have more graphic designers and uh, brand agencies in the state of Utah than I've seen. I mean, there was a bunch out there. I saw the Utah Venom. I saw um, the Yetis, Utah Yeti with a killer logo. I thought that was pretty cool, actually. That's dope. Um, Especially with the U and the Y, they finally come together. Oh, because right? the uh, look at that oh. BYU, uh, Utah. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so I think that. that there's there's a lot there. But oh. like, I mean, our number one goal is like, let's land the plane here and get NHL in Utah, and we can we can kind of worry about <laughs> all the other stuff after that. I don't care how it gets here. We, like, we we just got to go. And I think I mean NHL was gracious enough. I mean. We weren't really 100% expecting the response that they had today. Um, but them leaning in and saying, hey, look, like, we know Utah is an incredible market. We're, we haven't been asleep. We're watching the growth in Utah and everything else and the desirability of that, of that region. And then you and everything you guys are doing at SCG. Um, and we'll continue discussions. I think that's a, that's a really, really um, good approach and especially one from – from Gary and um, you know no one can see all of the future but that's that's a good acknowledgement of where we're at expansion's the only option because obviously uh, the Phoenix Coyotes play in a thing called the mullet arena uh, which doesn't even change over the logos in the arena for the Coyotes from the Arizona State hockey team so that team has obviously been chatted about being moved out of Arizona for a long time just because it's not good for hockey what's taking place down there is how hockey people feel that is not how we are saying this is just the reality of the situation. Has that been chatted about or only expansion? Uh, just about every interview I've done. But um, Okay, good, like, good. I think <laughs> – I'm happy we hit but, it. Nice. Yeah, I'm happy we did Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, look, I think our goal is NHL. And, and I'll leave the rest on how all that happens to Gary, expansion. I mean, we went through the expansion process. But, you know, we're ready and we're ready to go. And we just want to be true partners with – with the league like we've done and everything else and you know let let those power to be figure out what the best way to to get something here on whatever timeline they fill we need and to get so, them, we need to get them out of arizona gino and malkin scoring own goals mm-hmm. in there you gross know? guys just don't even play good hockey when they go bumpy there. ice even though we love phoenix we do we wish Great. that was not the case it's my favorite place yeah, to travel a, to it's beautiful 
Uh, last question. Out, outside of Utah. That's your favorite place outside of Utah. And Pittsburgh. Be honest. Love hey, that. are you guys ready for all-star game? No. In Indy? <laughs> We're not. No, Ryan, you, you came okay. with a lot of All ideas. Right. What was that, like three weeks ago? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, we got the Super Bowl coming up. Yeah. Ryan's like, hey, listen, yeah. I got ideas. We just had the All-Star game in Utah. Here's some things you could potentially do. I'm like, who's are we getting TikTok to do that? Who's yeah. talk, Who are you talking yeah, to? Who's, is show? Taco going to do that, Ryan? How, how are we? Yeah, you're, uh, like, you're like looking around. <laughs> okay, I will. Yeah, Ryan, I will actually do that. 